Hey besties, I will be sharing with you a tutorial of how I got this beautiful hair installed. Watch till the end for all the details. You'll need one packet of Mali Breed hair extension, a shade that matches your natural hair, a crochet hook, and an afro comb. Now let's start. On freshly washed and stretched hair, Cut the hair, braid it down lightly to create the leave out bits that will be used to make the hair look as natural as possible in the finished look. The braided hair that you're seeing is going to be the leave out that will be blended with the installed extension. The next thing you need is molding gel wax. The molding gel wax is going to be used in braiding down the remaining hair. Make sure that the cornrows are tight and neat. This is what the hair should look like after separating the leave out hair on the edges all around your head and braiding cornrows with the rest of the hair. The cornrows with gel wax are going to be the base for the crochet hair. This is what the Mali hair extension looks like. The texture relates my 4C natural hair. One packet is enough for natural looking density once you crochet the hair. To crochet the hair, split the Mali hair into tinier sections. Twizzle the hair several times around your hand to create a loop. Fit the loop through your hair, then pull it through the loop till it's tightly secured. Then pull both strands until the knot is secure. For big hair density, use bigger hair portions at the back of your head as you crochet. Remember to space the hair so that it looks evenly distributed. For the top and front part of your head, use a mirror as you crochet so that you can sort of level the density and size of your overall look. You want the hair to look as realistic as possible, so to achieve this, Use smaller pieces of the extension to crochet as you balance out the density. As well, reduce the space between the crochet hair on your scalp to avoid visible bald spots. After you're done crocheting the Mali hair extension, unravel the braided down natural hair leave out and comb it into the extension to blend it for a seamless, natural and realistic overall look. You can as well comb the extension out for a neater look using a wide toothed comb.
last, last. Now everybody go to breakfast. Shayo. At this point, we noticed that one side had a bald spot and less density, so we added more of the Mali hair extension. We went ahead and bladed out my natural hair into the extension then combed out the Mali braid extension for a neater fuller look. This video is proudly sponsored by Kings and Carls Studio. They do house calls in Nairobi and its environs. DM them on Instagram to book your appointment. Don't forget to mention that Chechesu sent you so that you can get a 10% discount on your next hair appointment for any hairstyle. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, kindly give it a thumbs up. In case there's someone else who wants to join our family, YouTube is going to recommend these videos to them. And if you're watching without subscribing, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love you guys so much. If you've reached this point of the video, kindly comment with kindly write prefer. See me now and to the prefer. So <laughs> comment prefer down below and tell me that you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends as well so that you can join our little family. Road to 500 subscribers. Okay? Actually, road to a thousand subscribers. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Mwah. Oh.